So this is it, Tucker. This is your little monstrosity. Your little abomination of nature. Oh, uh, what do I do? Why are you asking me? I know how to be a dad. This isn't the way I planned it. You planned this? Tucker, I had no idea. No, no, I mean, I always wanted to have that ideal father-son relationship. You know, where I see him for like eight hours every other weekend and send checks to some woman I hate. It's emotional conversations like this that make me miss my mom. Alright, look, let's leave these two alone. Let them do a little bonding. Hey, don't leave me here with him. What am I supposed to say? Ask him if he likes baseball. It's an alien baby caboose. Ask him if he likes t-ball. Alien caboose. Alien was the key word in that sentence. Seriously, don't go. I don't even know where to start. Tucker, he's part of an alien race whose only purpose seems to be to tell huge, grandiose lies to people. So, why don't you start with that? You know, common ground. Yeah, I think I'll just stick to baseball. So how much oxygen do you think Sarge has in his suit? Oxygen? Yeah, you know, to breathe and stuff. Oh, you know, probably like three hours, depending on his level of activity. He's buried six feet underground. I don't think he's got much chance for activities. Well, I don't think you're an authority. An authority? We didn't even use a coffin. We just threw a bunch of dirt on him. No, I threw a bunch of dirt on him. You two only pretended to help and made a bunch of digging noises with your mouth. You know that trick? I learned from the best. Well, as your new commander, you're both going to learn a little discipline. And we're going to start by running laps around the base. Sister, you can do girly laps. You mean after we dig up Sarge. No, I mean right now, Griff. What are girly laps? Hey, Simmons, I don't think Sarge is going to like you picking up his shotgun. And I really don't think he's going to like you threatening me with it. Well, okay, he might like that part. As the new leader, what I say goes. So everyone needs to start running right now. But what about Sarge? You heard what command said. Sarge is dead. He died of... What did he die of? Aspirin overdose. See, Sarge is dead of a... An aspirin overdose? Really? I know. I didn't think it was possible. And trust me, I've tried. Yeah. Wait, what? Simmons, don't be stupid. He's not dead. He's just lying underground covered in dirt. If I say he's dead, he's dead. I'm the leader. Me. And being a leader means you have to make tough decisions. Like, just for talking back, you can't do girly laps. You've gone blind with imaginary power, Simmons. Oh, on the contrary. I think I've gone blind with very real power. You're running. I'm calling Red Command for confirmation. Why are you calling Red Command? For confirmation. Stop asking questions. You keep talking about them. Why don't you call our guys? Our guys? Yeah, the blue guys. Excuse me, the what's a what? The blue guys. The guys that sent me here, in the big ship. Griff? Uh, yeah, this might be a bad time to bring up the fact that my sister is colorblind. What? I don't get it. What's the gray guy so upset about? But girls can't be colorblind. Yeah, either. But guess what? Yeah. Wait, what? I can't believe it. With such a simple espionage plan, the blues have decimated our forces. Quick, quick, give me a shovel. Oh, Sarge is gonna... So she's not here for Sarge. Oh, 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 oh. What happened? Where am I? Oh, maybe they know. But it might be rude to wake them up. I'll just wait here a while.